go get him again. Welcome back to the Robzoi channel. I'm your host, Mark, and on the docket today, we have an unboxing first impression video on the brand of Boyce 1920. And this one right here called Magia. Now this one is highly compared to Silver Mountain Water from Creed. Mm, in my personal opinion, uh, one of the better Creeds, probably, most notably, it's gonna be a top 10 Creed for me. Um, I don't think it'll creep into my top three, but I really do like Silver Mountain Water. Um, this used to be part of the youth collection. They got rid of that. And I'm seeing that this perhaps is a discontinued release from the brand. Um, so I'm kind of late on this one, but we're going to see what this one is all about. And, and of course, you know, the ones that are really into this brand, you can comment below and let me know. No, you're wrong, Mark. It's not discontinued. It is available. Um, I don't like to throw out propaganda like that, but um, I, I do see it. I think it was Parfumo, uh, the website that had this discontinued. So perhaps it is, perhaps it's not. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much to the fragrance community that does support me. Let's take a look, look at the notes beside me here. And as you can see, um, we have some citruses up top. We have uh, amber, jasmine, sandalwood, and in the base we have animalic notes, okay, and musk. Uh, this was released back in 2016, so definitely has some years to Silver Mountain Water, which was back in the mid 90s, I think. So it has a few years uh, behind it. So let's take a look at it. Let's unbox it. And again, this is from my Mega Frag Flex returned uh, haul here. Um, and it's been a while since I've spoken about this brand. The last one I spoke about was Sushi uh, Imperial, which was an excellent release. But after that, it was kind of crickets on my channel. So it's nice to, um, you know, kind of bring me back to a brand like this and, and delve into it. it. It's almost like a brand that I, it was one and done for me. Um, so I see my packaging is a little different from whose review that I, I think it was like Freddie or something like that, that I like back in the day that reviewed this and the packaging um, was different. It was from the youth collection. I think they removed that and kind of reboxed this one. So it looks a little different. It's got the beautiful wooden cap. Obviously it doesn't have much weight to it. So it's nice wooden cap. It has the name of the brand and the bottle, very nice clear bottle. Mine, uh, the Sushi Imperial is a frosted glass. So let's delve into it. Let's see if it's Silver Mountain Water-esque. Atomizer, a nice puff of Fragrance that comes out of it. Let's sniff Magia. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> doesn't take a genius, um, doesn't take a, a, a rocket scientist uh, to delve into this fragrance. If you smelt Silver Mountain water, you, you smell this, you'll be like, aha, right away. Um, it doesn't, you, you don't have to delve into or peel the layers of this one to smell it. Um, so, Talking about delving into it and trying to peel the layers. Um, solid orangey note. Um, so I am getting that mandarin orange more than the bergamot, but it does have a little bit of that bergamot. But jasmine is very much primary in here. And a little bit of sandalwood. So you're getting a little bit of that sandalwood in here as well. The thing I see that it's missing from Silver Mountain Water, at least early here, is it's missing a certain metallic note or that metallic edge that Silver Mountain Water has. Um, as far as the animalic notes, um, I'm not getting anything animalic here. Maybe something a little musky, but nothing, you know, animalic or crazy here to my nose. It's fresh, it's bright, it's basically if you're telling me, you know, Silver Mountain Water is made for this, 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 this kind of season, um, you can dress it up, dress it down. This is as appropriate as Silver Mountain Water. I don't see much of a difference, if any. It's fresh, it's bright, it's natural smelling. Um, the Mandarin is actually really good in here. Yeah, so let's put it on skin. Let's see what my skin does with this one. Different than the, of course, the little strip. And you never know, right? Um, it can be night and day. Oh no, this is, this is gorgeous. Um, sometimes with, with strips and my skin, it's like night and day. Uh, my skin kind of brings out certain things and then, and the strip does something else. So you always want to spray it on skin personally, because you're not going to be carrying this around uh, while you're wearing a fragrance. So 
Yeah, so a little less bright than this one. The Mandarin is definitely your primary citrus in here uh, against the bergamot. Um, I am getting a, an ambery glow more on my skin than I did on the strip. Actually, I didn't get any on the strip. Jasmine is definitely primary, but it's sharing with the amber a little bit of sandalwood and some musky. Um, there's nothing animalic. As far as the animalic notes, that's probably the bottom of the totem pole right now. So at the end of the day, I really like this one. I'm fresh, invigorating, um, all that good stuff. Now, to the elephant in the room, the Silver Mountain Water comparisons, all that. Um, and again, I don't, you know, I'm not putting my stamp of approval that yes, this is discontinued, it could be. Um, if it is, then forget about it, <laughs> honestly. Unless you're a big fan of Silver Mountain Water, this will probably be, if it's discontinued, way harder to find. Um, when you do find it, people are gonna be asking for a premium of it. So. Silver Mountain Water and this, as far as price points, almost null or not really. I guess you could get this one a little cheaper if you can find it. It's not the exact same. Um, like, you know, when I say fragrances are like close cousins, they're not, they're in the same family, but they're not related, uh, like immediate family, you know, cousin. Um, this is more like a brother to Silver Mountain Water, like it's that close. Um, it's not a cousin, it's a brother, it's that close. It has its, and this is again, just on opening, this is an unboxing video, right? I'm not talking about longevity projection, I'm not talking about development on this one. There's not much development to be said in an unboxing video, unless something starts morphing into the five minutes that I have it while I'm on screen with you. In my opinion, if you already have Silver Mountain Water, it's a redundant uh, purchase is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not here to influence you. Um, as far as quality goes, I'd say they're on par. I'm not gonna say this one's better than the other. Um, my Silver Mountain Water, I prefer it over this already because I have that experience with it. Um, and that's just a personal choice. However, it's nice to have it in the collection, but kind of redundant, right? It's not like if I feel like wearing Silver Mountain Water, I'm gonna go with Silver Mountain Water. I'm not gonna go with this, unless this shows me something different that I personally like. Right now, it's not really showing me enough that it would be you know, something I would gravitate towards instead of Silver Mountain Water. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But, well-constructed, uh, a great idea, an old idea, a good idea though. Um, I don't know if I would be releasing a fragrance that close to that, um, personally, if, if it was my brand, but that's just me. The sandalwood is peaking more, the more it's on skin. So I don't know if that's a thing, but um, it's definitely doing it on my skin here. And obviously I'm losing the citruses now, eventually. So it's a jasmine, ambery, sandalwood thing. That's where I think I'm going with this one as far as the back end. I'm kind of judging it right now prematurely, but I am. Now you can find this one at fragflex.com. Again, you can find things that are discontinued and it's on its last leg on these discounters. And then once they're sold, they're sold basically. Um, you can use my code TFG10, get 10% off on anything on the website. Um, this is a brand that I've been meaning to delve more into. There's a there's a few on my hit list, and again, my, my wish list of sampling or purchasing is just out of control. It's bigger than my actual collection, probably five times bigger. That's how crazy it is, and there is several from this brand. This was not even on my radar, honestly. Um, happy to have smelt it. Now I have that experience and moving on, basically. But uh, yeah, now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Good, bad, and the ugly. You agree, disagree with me. I love uh, your take, especially the ones that are really are into this brand. And I know some of my subscribers do absolutely love this brand. So I can't wait to see your thoughts, suggestions on brands like this that I kind of one and done kind of thing. Um, it would be nice to have some suggestions of other ones that you would like to see on the channel. And it may correlate with my taste and I may get a little sample and try them out. But yeah, the standalones, I think one that's really popular from this brand is Real Patchouli, I think is the one that it is on my hit list, but I think I recall 
I think it was Rich Mitch that was saying that they changed it from an eau de toilette to an EDP and it's not the same. So I don't know. Anyway, as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your Silver Mountain Water fragrance wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.